Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Psych. Just kidding, guys. On to the video. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's time for Q and A. Hey everybody, I'm Todd. Hey, I'm Jason. This is our little badass Pomeranian Ziggy. And we're, we're the Bambin Guys. Welcome to another edition of Q and Gay. Woohoo! Q and A! And this is actually episode number four. That's right. It's still growing great with the questions, but as always, please, please bring on those new questions for us. Even if you've already asked us a question, feel free to put in the comments some new questions for us. I would say we probably have enough questions for maybe about three more episodes, but then at that point, we're going to be run out of questions. So we need new ones. Keep them coming, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so keep the questions coming. Uh, we are definitely enjoying it. We're having mm -hmm. a blast because we feel it's a great way where we can really interact with all of you guys on a much more personal level, which is wonderful. Now, just to also let you guys know, uh, please look in the comment because we always pin a comment at the very top. Uh, we do have um, some different things for you to take a look at as well as our Instagram account. So you are also more than welcome to ask us uh, through DM, direct message. You can also ask us a question through Instagram if you prefer that. And if you go all the way down to the bottom of our video description, I also have our email account listed. So you can also send us a private email. Uh, even if you just wanna say hi privately, write us a nice little private note, uh, send us some pictures of your rig. You know, we love that kind of stuff because uh, the more we can interact and get to know you guys and you can get to know us, uh, we feel it just uh, makes this whole RV community uh, much more better. Exactly, exactly. So keep on sending all those questions, all those pictures, all those comments, all those emails. We love all of it. And uh, thanks always, as always, for your patience because we do answer the questions in the order in which they receive. Yes. So it might take us a while to get to it, but yes. we want to make sure that we give you props and attention and we answer your questions as thoroughly, but as quickly as we can. So we'll see how we do this round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we're, we think that each uh, video that we're doing, that we are getting a little bit quicker and a little bit faster uh, answering the questions. So, you know, it's a learning process and we are all here to learn together and have a you know a great time mm -hmm. yeah maybe we should get to those questions actually yeah absolutely because we're starting to what ramble again <laughs> big surprise okay yeah i know big surprise all right so the first question is from sandra conklin and the question is do you mainly stay glamping in a certain few states or travel all over how long do you usually stay is it days, weeks, or longer? I'm a new YouTuber here of a little over a month. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Welcome. Hugs and blessings from New York State. Okay. Woohoo! Woo hey, New York. Well, hey, Sandra. Well, um, I should probably preface the question with this. I have a, a work contract which sort of keeps me kind of glued to our local area. So we do tend to sort of stay in the southeast area when we're traveling. We don't. We aren't able to travel as far because I have to get back so that I can work. Now, of course, you know, when retirement comes, we'll be able to do that all over traveling that you were talking about, which we can't wait for. As far as the period of time that we stay, I mean, we, we want to stay as long as possible. And we definitely had a big learning experience from our first big road trip um, that maybe it's best not to cram in as many things as possible and just do a couple of choice things and stay for like, you know, four, five, six days, even to the point where you think you might be getting a little bit bored because that's when nature or something wonderful is going to surprise you. So we just like to just soak it all in and take our time and, you know, just do as much as we can, but not try to cram it in there and get overwhelmed. So yeah. I said, yeah. Great answer and great question. Thank you. So the next question is from Bobby Hall. How did you guys decide your RV park was right for you? 
this is another great question that you should answer. Yes, I did lots of research. Because you, you uh, just quick shout out, he actually found where we live, so... I was obsessed. I was like going on Google Maps and like scrolling in super close and doing searches for RV parks and RV resorts because I wanted to find the perfect semi-permanent home for us. Um, looked number one for a place that felt more like a resort than just kind of like a park. Something that you know felt like we were kind of taking a vacation while we were living day to day. Mm -hmm. This place has an on-site bar and restaurant, beautiful river nearby, gorgeous trees. So you know we feel like even though we're having our day to day life, like we're kind of getting away. <laughs> Should I say that again? Um, you... No, I think we'll what keep that in the video. But in case you guys were just wondering if you heard that noise, that was the ice maker for the fridge. So, <laughs> of course, it has to make noise. Of course. We've turned off the AC. We're making sure everything is super perfectly quiet. But no, something yeah. has to make noise. Murphy's Law. Every time we start recording, there has got to be some kind of crazy noise happening. <laughs> but we have decided just to embrace it and joke about it and move on, so. Part two of answering the question involves what I just call a vibe. Basically, we wanted just to be able to feel at home while we were here, and all, all it took was like one visit, and we came here, and the people were just so nice, and the place just has just, I don't know, just this really good energy. So between all of that, we just felt like we were instantly at home. And then lastly, and most importantly, a place where we can, you know, have a permanent glamping spot. Because some places, they kick you out after four or five months. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have the additional stress of having to move around from place to place throughout the year. So between the, all those three boxes, they were definitely ticked by our current residents. Yeah, I just want to interject. Uh, we have, uh, as, as you guys know, we just celebrated one year living here in April. And we just really, really like it. And we couldn't be happier. And uh, since we've been here for a full year now, we have learned a lot more about, you know, how the place works and, you know, the uh, snowbirds that come down. Uh, but we met a, lot, a bunch of snowbirds this uh, past uh, uh, fall, and a lot of them uh, have been coming here for like well over 15 years. Uh, so it's a really wonderful place. And a lot of you have also asked, uh, you know, where we live. And I'm sure you can understand, you know, we're just not going to advertise where we live, you know, permanently. Uh, we just don't really feel comfortable sharing that with the entire YouTube world. But at the same time, you know, we have had people reach out to us privately through email, which you are welcome to do. And if we correspond a little bit and get to know one another a little bit, then, you know, we're usually more than happy to share our location. Uh, but I'm sure you know it's just about getting comfortable with people uh, when it comes to certain questions. Uh, you know, we just don't want to answer them because you don't really do that with people you don't know. So it's kind of just a common sense kind of no-brainer kind of thing why we don't advertise where we are. Just in case any of you were wondering, I just wanted to kind of explain why we don't advertise that. So moving on to the next question, this is from Patricia Burke, and she would like to know, this is kind of a uh, uh, big, uh, like a two, three, four part question. Uh, which states have you lived in prior to full-time camping? Todd has been in Florida and born in Florida his whole life. Uh, I have been uh, very fortunate to have traveled throughout the whole US uh, during my younger years, so I've lived in a lot of different places. Uh, and that would probably take a video on its own to uh, do to answer. So uh, I'm just gonna say I've lived in a lot of places in the US. Are you planning to follow the good weather? Uh, we do live permanently in Florida, which that is not a secret. So uh, we have pretty much good weather year round. Uh, have you traveled to any other countries? Yes, we have. Uh, Todd has been to France. And we both had the pleasure of going together to Spain, which was amazing. If you haven't been to Spain, I highly recommend it. Uh, we went to uh, Madrid for five days, and then we went to Barcelona for five days. Uh, if you had to settle down anywhere you've been so far, where would you settle down? Well, as far as settling down, uh, because we feel at this point we are settled down, which is kind of a hindrance, but that's okay. But once we retire, we hope not to settle down. 
this situation for us is kind of in reverse yeah. because right now, like I just said, we feel that we are unfortunately settled down because of life and work and jobs. And then we hope to become unsettled. I hope that made sense. Great question. Thank you very much. So the next question is from Brandon S. Has it taken any unexpected adjustments living full time and much closer quarters together than you both anticipated? No. Mm -mm. No. Nope, not at all. I mean, we're just like any other couple. You know, we enjoy being with each other. It's been 18 years. We've been married for what, four? years coming up on five i coming believe on six actually coming up on six yeah. he's way better with dates than i am so uh but we've been together for 18 years so you know we do stuff together we love each other we also like each other you know we're uh, i think best friends exactly. we like to do a lot of the same things together but we also give each other you know the needed space uh and independence to go and do what they need to do to feel better in this world and vice versa. So we have, you know, that um, tr level of trust, uh, independence. We, we allow each other to, to be who we need to be as human beings. Um, but when we are together, uh, we enjoy being together. So anyway, Brandon, that was a very good question and we thank you very much and always feel free to give us more if, if you have some for us. So the next question is from Andrea True Love. Drink recipes, favorite, uh, your favorite foods that we cook, laundry on the road, what do we do with Ziggy, why we're traveling. So go for it. Okay, well drink recipes. Um, that would be Jason's Cocktail Hour, which you can find on our food and drink playlist. You can find all of our favorite cocktail recipes there. As far as foods go, um, there is one food video in that playlist, mm -hmm. and that's about yep. um, my lemony pasta salad, which I do love. As far as day-to-day -day food, we love just, you know, grilling, using the air fryer, using the Instapot, keeping things really pretty simple. As far as laundry, um, you know, we're pretty stationary in our, our spot, so we like to use the laundry facility that's basically a very short walk right down the road. Super easy, super convenient. As far as this little guy, you know, whenever we're out on a glamping adventure, we take him with us always wherever we go. But if we are doing a day excursion where perhaps it's not super dog friendly, we just let him stay here. He loves the RV and he loves it even better when we come home. Oh my goodness, Andrea Trulove, she has another question. Would Todd consider writing jingles or music for other RV channels or what about theme songs? Hmm, what about that? That would be really fun to do and I would love to be able to do it but frankly right now at this time i don't think i have the time i got a lot of commitments to our channels i have other creative endeavors and i got a full-time job performing music that i absolutely love so at this stage of the game i would say no but who knows down the road i might my schedule might free up and all of a sudden you might be able to commission me to make anything for you <laughs> so the next question is from vicky lynn Enjoying your equipment, any changes you would like to make, what's on the itinerary this year, favorite place you've visited. So I'll take the first part of the question. When you say equipment, I'm guessing that you're referring to our drone and I have been getting a lot more practice flying the drone. I just posted a new video showing the active tracking feature in the drone. So uh, if you haven't seen it, feel free to go and look at that video and you'll get to see some really cool bonus footage at the end where I was playing around with some really cool Final Cut Pro movie filters and trying to go for some of these really interesting like uh, kind of 1970s vintage kind of color effects. But I think it came out really, really cool. Uh, as far as the gimbal that we bought for the phone, we use that quite a bit. Todd also uses it for creating some B-roll. And so far, we're really enjoying that as well. So uh, the next uh, part of it, do you remember or do you need me to say it again? Let's see what's on the itinerary this year. Favorite place you visited? Yes. The itinerary for this year, um, in June, we're doing a almost two week long Gulf Coast of Florida road trip where we're going to go to Cedar Key, which just looks charming and amazing. 
and then we're going to Rainbow Springs, which looks just really beautiful and relaxing. So that's our first big trip. And then our second one is going to be later in the fall. We're going to go to Jekyll Island, Georgia, where we had one wonderful night <laughs> last fall. And we were like, you know what? We need more of this in our lives. Mm -hmm. As far as our favorite place we've ever visited, as far as any place, you know, by land, sea, sky, definitely Spain. Um, as far as favorite place on the road, I don't know. We keep making this joke, but it's true. Every place ends up being our favorite place because there's always something new to discover. Right, right. So the next question is from Steward W. How is your grand design holding up any issues? Ours is on order and due at the end of the month. That is awesome. Congratulations. Now, this question was also probably given to us in the comments maybe about two weeks ago. So if you're watching this, uh, we're assuming that you are even getting much closer to that due date. So congratulations. You're going to love your grand design. Uh, let's see. Do you have any big trips planned? Well, we already just answered that, so we're not going to go into that again. As far as how the grand design is holding up, I just recently did a RV warranty repair video where we had a mobile tech come out to do some end of the uh, warranty repairs. So you can kind of watch that and see some of the things we had to get done. But it was all very, very minor stuff. It was, there was nothing really, really major that happened except we were having a little bit of an issue with our kitchen slide out and LCI just finally came this past week. I did not record it, so I just let him do his job, but basically it was a very easy fix. It took them a while, but for him it was easy. Basically the hydraulic arms, one of them when it was installed into the chassis itself, one of the hydraulic arms was welded in about a half an inch lower causing the slide out just to tilt and rub a little bit into the lower corner which is what we noticed when we were on our road trip last year but grand design thank you grand design because you stepped up you approved lci to come to our home base and do the repairs on site so we couldn't be more thankful. We love our grand design. We've had minor issues, but the customer service, amazing. Mm -hmm. And we have said that so many more times and I'm starting to ramble. So I think that'll answer the rest of your question. All right, the next question is from Bill Schultz. Congratulations, Spunky My Palm and I, aw, would like to know what plans do you have if a severe storm is on the way? Do you have a nearby shelter? Or while driving, what do you do? Thank you, just wondering. That's a really awesome question. I love these kind of like safety questions. Well, guys, as you know, uh, we live in Florida. Weather happens, it can be a little bit unpredictable. And we ride out a lot of thunderstorms just here in the RV. Sometimes things sway back and forth. We just ride with it. We're not too scared. Now, of course, there are different levels of severity. So for instance, like if we had like a tornado warning and a tornado was imminent and we heard those sirens going off, we have a designated shelter. The RV resort has um, two or three bathrooms. We just run towards that shelter and we are good to go. Now, as far as like driving in bad weather, um, we've had a couple of instances, one in particular, where um, we knew that some high winds were coming and we were still staying at a resort, we were about to get on the road. So we wanted to make sure that we were safe. So we just asked the people at the RV resort if we could just stay a few more hours. And thankfully they were like, that's totally cool. And those few hours were all we needed. The winds died down and we were good to go. We're always very conscious and very conscientious about safety. Well, there's always hurricanes. You know, we do live in Florida, but there are mild hurricanes where we could stay here. Or there's the combo of like, well, you know, we're here, but we might need to flee. We have shelters. You know, there might be a storm that might be a little bit more severe where we might want to just sort of like leave our house behind and go stay with local family. Or we might want to just hitch up the truck and just take it out of Florida altogether if it's looking really, really bad. So cool. That was a really good question. Thank you very, very much. I love those kind of questions. Mm -hmm. 
All right, the next question. Hi, guys. I bought you some coffee. Oh, my God, thank, thank you, you very, very much. We appreciate that. Uh, I'll be a newbie full-time Florida RVer soon. Congratulations. My question to you is about RV insurance. What company did you go with, and what did you learn about the different coverage? I liked your maintenance video. Thanks. I was very surprised uh, finding out what I'll need to do every month. How can I buy Ziggy a doggy bone? <laughs> well, thank you. That's very, very cute. Uh, well, because you uh, were nice enough to treat us to a cup of coffee through our coffee website, we appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, that's a way for any of you to help us out if you want. And we'll, you know, just take those tiny little uh, donations for the cups of coffee and we just pretty much reinvest that back into the channel. Uh, just like we will reinvest some of that coffee money that you treated us to. And we will make sure and Ziggy gets a bone. And uh, with that, uh, we'll get into your question. Uh, let's see here. Um, RV insurance is basically uh, something that every RVer needs to have. They are People all have their opinions just like they have with the type of the RVs, type of tires. You know, you could debate about it all darn day. But for us personally, we chose progressive insurance from all the research that we did and also the talking around and asking other RVers in the community. Progressive, as far as we're concerned, is the best RV insurance out there because they will basically insure your RV like a house. So our RV has complete head to tire insurance coverage. If we had a hurricane and a tree branch falls and crashes in the roof, we are covered. If we have a flood and water damage, we are covered. When we are actually towing the fifth wheel, the truck is now covered in the towing of the fifth wheel which I thought was really, really cool. And that was something that I found out recently through Progressive. So Progressive has been really, really good. Uh, as far as price, even though you didn't ask that, we'll go ahead and um, give you that information. We pay $1,200 a year, roughly. And it's normally um, uh, rounded up to about $1,500 a year. But if you pay for it yearly in advance, they'll take about $300 off, and so that's what we do. But we've had them now for a little over a year, and they have been great. And again, I just like the fact that when we are on the road towing our fifth wheel, the truck is also included, and then we also have uh, roadside assistance, uh, which is also included when we're towing. Did you uh, want to add anything to that? No, that's true. That's your area. I'm yeah. just letting you talk. <laughs> he knows all this stuff. I'm like, I make things look pretty. <laughs> and uh, speaking of looking pretty, I'm going to let my pretty husband here. Why are you flattering, uh, sir? I'm going to let him take over because we are officially done with today's questions. Uh, thank you, Sandy, by the way. That was a great question about RV insurance. We appreciate it. But uh, we are finished but we have one last super duper crazy ass huge big glamtastic glamazing announcement for you guys I, I I'm just I'm, I'm just so excited I'm overwhelmed can you believe it with silence so I'm going to let Todd take over. <laughs> I hope that my announcement can live up to your epic preamble. <laughs> so, our, <clears throat> so our big announcement is this. You guys asked and we listened. And so now for your listening pleasure, we have 15 of our favorite original, yes, drum roll music tracks available for free for you to listen to on SoundCloud. That's right. Free guys, mm -hmm. 15 of our favorite hand-picked songs for you guys for free. Yep. Sorry, I just ha I had to say it's that. Hey, you're because excited too? <laughs> because it's just we're we're just so excited for all yes. of you guys 
and this is our gift to you. Yeah. So listen to them anytime you want to. They range from classical to dance music, depending on your mute. Your mute? Depending <laughs> on your mood. And um, if you are a YouTuber and you're in the mood to use one of our tracks, that's totally cool. Just make sure that you go to the description in the video and you follow all the instructions on how to appropriately credit the song. And also in the description of the video is where you will find the link to uh, SoundCloud itself. So you can do all the listening that you want. But anyway, guys, it's been an absolute joy and pleasure uh, to put all this music together. And we're just so thankful to you. So we wanted to give you something. So there it is. Free music. Woohoo! Yep. So uh, until next time, guys, this is the end of today's Q&A. Keep the questions coming. Keep them coming because we want to make more and more Q&As for all of you. So until next time, you guys stay tuned and have a fantastic day. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you. Arr!